in this land. And this Mass of Thanksgiving for this day is the second Sunday of Lent. And also, tomorrow, the Feast of the Santo Niño de Pasión de Makati. Stop! Look! And listen. That is what the Gospel today tells us. There is something about prayer because in prayer we stop. We stop and we finish our ordinary routines and enter the space of God. Thanks be to God, the canonical coronation is finished. Now we can go back to the season of Lent. This 40 days of retreat for us, this 40 days in which we have to journey in us, within us, our interior life, our spiritual life needs to be nourished during the season of Lent. Let these images accompany us, for these images speak of the two people so close to our hearts, Jesus and Mary. Second, look, not only look with the senses of the eyes, but look with the senses of the heart. How would you rate your spiritual life? One being the lowest and ten being the highest. How would you rate yourself? How is your relationship with God? How are you connected with God? How are your relationships at home? Are you in the midst of conflict now? Are you in the midst of toil and stress that you need to produce that indeed you are tired? Look! Look at your inner self. Look at the child in you. Look at God who is present in your heart, in your conscience, asking you to do good. This morning as I was looking at the Virgen de la Rosa de Makati while being crowned, I gaze on her beauty. So beautiful is this image of 300 years. This image that has lived with us for hundreds of years. We're not only counting decades, we're counting centuries. Is your Catholicism simply devotion? Is, is your Catholicism really not only devotion but going to Mass every Sunday, active participation in church life, engagement in our programs for the poor. Look at the Blessed Mother and she is telling each one of us, more for my son, do more for my son, do more than just devoting yourself to me and my image. Not only in our devotions, but be genuine Catholics by thought, by feelings, and by actions. Third, in the Gospel, one of the few times that we hear the voice of the Father in heaven, this is my chosen one, and his challenge, listen to him. When you listen to someone, you look at that person in the eyes. When you listen to someone, you're not only waiting for the words, but feeling what he feels, entering his inner life. Listening is an act of loving. Listening is an act of conversation. If Mary were here, she would ask the same question. Listen to my son. He speaks to you in the church. Listen to him. Less noise, more listening, more listening. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, listen slowly. What is our next step after the coronation? Not another activity, but let us walk with Jesus as he walks to Calvary in His Passion, Death, and Resurrection.
stop look listen amen <laughs>